Hi, boys and girls. Um, I am going to talk a little bit about using coloring pencils. I'm about to color my Robin Mead inspired landscape that we did this uh, week in art with coloring pencils, and I wanted to show you a couple of things. Um, I am very lucky that somebody gave me this really nice set of uh, coloring pencils. There's 132 Prismacolor and there's all different colors. They're very soft, um, which means that the color is very uh, bright because they're soft. The color um, really shows up, as you can see. When I use color and pencils, I like to group my colors and I don't just color one solid color and then move on to the next. Sometimes I put, I use uh, different colors together and I like to blend them or I'll co color over. If I'm gonna do a sky, I might take this nice light blue here and just start feathering it in and then I'll take maybe a little darker blue and just put a little bit of that in here, here and there. And I've really been seeing some beautiful sunsets here lately. And you can put a little bit of pink in here, which is going to turn some of that purple, which if you look at one of your sunsets, that's exactly what you're going to see. Now, once I get my sky and this is not a whole sky I'm just showing you a giving you a little bit of an example uh, I can take this light blue again and I can color over or even better if I have a white if I take that white that's gonna smooth out those colors and it's gonna make them blend together and make this really nice soft color I hope you can see that over here even. It just really blends out into a soft, almost like a painting or a pastel effect. If I'm gonna do a sun or a sunset, I'm gonna start with a really light yellow. Now I know your picture has a nice black outline, but I just wanted to show you the coloring right now. Okay, so if I have this nice bright yellow, I know it's gonna have some rays coming out for the sunset. Now I'm gonna take an orange and I might very lightly go around here and then just kind of feather in that light orange. And then go back to my bright yellow. And as you can see, that will mix that in there. And I would even go ahead and do a little around the edge where my sun rays will be. And then you can take that yellow. Okay, so water, I do that with my water. And I learn something new every time I use something, so I hope you'll experiment with your medium that you choose. Here is a sunset that I did and, and some water. Now that really is a layered landscape there. I hope you'll experiment. Uh, one thing uh, I do need to go to, you're going to need a really good pencil sharpener when you use coloring pencils. A sharp, this is a very sharp one. It's metal. It doesn't get dull. And I know everybody likes these with the little catcher on them. And sometimes you can find a really good one. Sometimes you, they're, they're uh, not so good. Like this one doesn't want to close up, but um, it does catch your shaving, which is very handy. Okay, well, that's it. Um, experiment. 
and I hope you enjoy your Robin Mead layered landscape.